just landed in Porto and on holiday in Portugal for five days I think, four days. I'm here visiting my friends Matt and Justine. You've seen them before in my Granada videos and this time they're now in Porto. So I'm here in Porto and it was such an early flight. But yeah, I'm about to get the metro into the city. <laughs> Guys, I found Matt. He's collected me from the metro and we're now walking back to his flat, right? Yep. Which is where Justine is as well. But Porto is already so pretty and I've seen like 10 meters of it. But check this out. little room and we've literally just been chatting for like three hours <laughs> just chatting for a while talking it out but here with Matt and with Justine so we're all properly reunited and me and Matt are actually off to find me a bed right now Justine has work to do so she's staying here for a bit and then we're all gonna have a picnic dinner by the river and watch the sunset it'll be really nice Again, not aesthetically pleasing, but it smells good. Are you a boy who brunches? I'm not a boy who brunches. <laughs> I can't afford brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is the wall of one of the cathedrals in Porto. And then here guys is the uni's main building. So Matt is doing a degree in Leeds but he's doing Spanish and Portuguese which is why he did a semester abroad in Granada last year and he's doing a year abroad in Porto this year and this is his university which is so cool. Matt and I are currently on a mission to find a bed so we're doing a little bit of sightseeing and then we're gonna do more of these places when we've got Justine with us and more time. For any Harry Potter fans out there, JK Rowling came and taught English in Porto for a while and obviously JK Rowling did her degree at Exeter, my uni, um, didn't really enjoy it there. <laughs> but here we have the bookshop that inspired like Hogwartsy things. It's eight years to go inside, so we're not doing it because I don't really care about Harry Potter that much. But it's quite a cool fact. We're off to the shops to buy a picnic dinner because we're gonna go down to the river. Uh, no, nope. like but you can see the river. We're gonna go down to a park for, yeah, dinner. We're gonna have some port and just have a really chill evening. So, we're at the park and we've got all our dinner in here. This park has peacocks. Hey. It's five euros! <laughs> Port is so much more expensive in the UK. I mean, I know I'm in Porto, Portugal. This is so lit! And check out our view. You have to see the sunset. Hey guys! We are celebrating me finishing my degree by having some really classy drinks in the park. So, um... Cheers to that, and cheers to Exeter. Yeah, 
guys. There's like four different things. Check out this picnic situation. Wow. Look at this view. Wow. Yeah, hi MTV. Welcome to my crib. Just this little turret looking over Porto. <laughs> Not the most spacious. No ceiling. <laughs> Arguably not much floor space. But you, me and Matt make not do. Not many amenities. We make do. The weather's great. The port's cheap. <laughs> That's the main thing. The little animals flying around. It's not little birds. It's bats. Which is so cool. Little bats flying around. And you can hear the peacocks. Guys, we were just chilling in the park and they've turned the sprinklers on. So we're pretty sure that's a sign we need to leave. Uh, we've been sprayed by the sprinklers. 